Hello, it's Jimmy Herd O'Reilly's, and I come to look at a VW Crafter. Not this one, but this one back here. So here we are inside. Flashing glow plug symbol and the engine management light. Stand up, Let's see what we're looking at. So, yeah, two of those there remain. Pretty low mileage on this van, 52,000. Right, got the top down Phoenix Pro here. We're gonna go into the ECM. Let's have a look. Read P two six one A zero zero Cool and Pumpy Control Circuit Open. Okay, so let's see what happens if we clear the code. No DTCs. Engine management light's gone. But the glow plug's still flashing there. Let's go back. Do a reread of the codes. Yeah, she's straight back. Pull the bonnet there. Right, we're going to come down here. Done a couple of these before. It's just down here. We can't see it. Too many pipes in the way. But it's got a pump here. I can hear it's making some sort of weird noises. Gonna remove the cook. Right, we've got that screw out. I can lift the bottle up there. And I'm gonna need to disconnect that plug there from underneath. Just by pressing it and pulling. And we can just move that bottle down somewhere disconnect all of these tubes so we can move it around a bit so just looking down on the pump here we've got a few things moved out of the way there so we can actually see it you see the plug there that little grey clip just pull that back press it down and, and unplug it Now that we've got that unplugged, we're gonna let's uh, before we fit it. I think let's let's uh, plug this in and see if the fog clears when we've got this this pump plugged in. So got that plugged in there. Let's just sit there. Okay, we're back in the van. Turn that radio off. Let's see what happens when we start up now. Oh, I didn't even have to clear the codes. Automatically gone. So let's have a look at clearing the codes on here now. DTCs are gone. And then we'll go back and read it like we've done before. Yeah, still gone. On the back of the pump here, you got three uh, 10 millimeter torques, or 10, size 10 torques, T10 torques. Just opening the last one here. See if I can get that out by hand now. Got three of those there. One, two, three. And the pump should come off of the bracket there, just like that. You got one, two, and three screws at the back. Just use my little pliers there to open those brackets. One and two. You got the clamps. Sorry, one and two there for the bolt hoses. So what I'm going to do from here is I got a little pick tool here, I usually just, sorry, I'll get down there and show you. So I like to just slide the pick under the edge there of the tube and just slide it all the way around just to break the um, seal. So usually sort of weld themselves onto, onto the plastic. Now that it's loosened up a little bit, I should be able to pull them out. And put those plugs over there somewhere so they'll stay try and stay put there so I might need to use my two hands I just need to pull the boat of the hoses off okay so just pull the boat of the hoses off there now I can get the replacement pump here and this is the direction that it goes in so you've got the plug sitting on the top 
facing that way. It should be easier to push it in than it was to pull it out. Get that one in there. And this one. Slip that over there. And that's in place there. We'll just push these in a little bit further and put the clamps on. Move both these clamps over. There you go there. Now it's just a case of fitting these little tiny screws back in. I wish they made these a little bit bigger to be honest because they're very very small to hold. Just about get my hands on them. So we've got those in there and we just need to tighten them up. So I just topped up the coolant there with some antifreeze. Now we're back in the van again. We're just going to start it up and we'll let the van run up to temperature just to make sure that the it's not got any air in it. And we just confirmed there there's no more codes in the in the uh, ECU. So we just unplugged the uh, diagnostic computer there, switch it off. So that's it there, all complete. Test drive done, van's perfect. End of that video, see you in the next one.